most vicious rival soap star feuds, violent brawl, affair with partner and axing it's not just actors on the same soaps who are having fights, as members of the Coronation Street, Emmerdale and Hollyoaks casts have clashed spectacularly over the years video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will auto play soon 8 cancel play now the moment Ryan Thomas punches Roxanne Pohl at in the CBB house B Kyle O'Sullivan features writer 16 colon 53, November 11th 2021, comments there is always a good-natured rivalry between the different soaps, but sometimes it goes way too far. Quite often the fiercest scandals are actually happening off-screen and usually they are exposed to the public. We previously reported on how actors who are co-stars on the nation's biggest soaps got into tense feuds, including a pair who didn't speak for five years and one who called his colleague a nasty piece of work. However, it's not just stars of the same soap who get into heated rows while working together. Over the years, some of the biggest clashes have happened to rival actors, and they usually tend to be nastier and go on for longer. Here is a look at some of the most vicious ones. Jamie Lomas and Asan and GA for more of the news you care about, straight to your inbox, sign up for one of our daily newsletters here. One of the most brutal soap clashes actually happened off-screen, but cameras caught the alarming moment. Asan and GA was sacked for threatening to stab and kill Holly Oaks star Jamie Lomas at the TV Choice Awards. Horrified guests watched on as Asan yelled, I'm going to f-king kill you. I'm going to f-king knife you. Show bosses decided to give Asan his marching orders for his unacceptable behavior, but confirmed that his character Ellis Chapman would be immediately written out of the soap. Asan was slammed for his behavior and was called in by Immerdale bosses to explain his actions before being given the sack. In a statement, ITV said, Immerdale suspended Dawson and GA yesterday pending further investigation into an incident at a central London hotel on Monday night. ITV executives have met with him this morning and as a consequence Dawson's contract has been terminated with immediate effect. Immerdale bosses confirmed that Ellis will be staying on screen for another six weeks as it would be virtually impossible to remove his character from the forthcoming storylines without cancelling episodes. A show source told The Mirror, Asan will still appear in the episodes he has recorded which will air for the next six weeks or so. There have been some meetings to decide what to do and this seems the most sensible option. We regularly have to rewrite scenes due to cast sickness and so it is not as unusual as it sounds to be suddenly rewriting storylines. By next week we will be filming scenes which will help write out Ellis and explain his absence from the show for good. Giltrid and Asan explained he wanted to learn from his actions after his controversial behavior at the star-studded bash. In a groveling statement, he said, My behavior at the TV Choice Awards was completely unacceptable and very much out of character. I sincerely apologize to everybody who has been affected especially Jamie Lomas, the whole Emmerdale team, our audience, ITV, my family, and the organizers of the TV Choice Awards. I am devastated, accept full responsibility for my actions and I am determined to learn from this. Ryan Thomas and Roxanne Pohl at what happened between these two soap stars was so explosive it was given its own name, the Punchgate scandal. Back in 2018, former Corey actor Ryan Thomas was in the celebrity Big Brother house with ex-Emmerdale star Roxanne Paulette. 
In one of the reality TV show's most controversial moments ever, Roxanne wrongfully accused Ryan of punching her five or six times and deliberately intending to harm her. It was quite obvious to everyone watching that Ryan had done nothing wrong, but things escalated when Roxanne demanded he be removed from the house and tried to turn her fellow housemates against him. There was an outpouring of love for Ryan, who went on to win the series, while Roxanne would later walk out and face up to her actions. She told CBB host Emma Willis she was the most hated woman in Britain after receiving an avalanche of fury from the public and even former co-stars. On The Jeremy Vine Show, she admitted she got it wrong and has massively apologized for accusing Ryan of deliberately punching her. The former Emmerdale star said she overreacted to the situation because her insecurities were heightened and judgment was clouded in the house. It's the word deliberate I regret. I doubted his intentions. There was no malicious intent in that. I shouldn't have questioned his motivation. I got it wrong, she explained. He couldn't disprove his intentions and I couldn't disprove the feeling. Roxanne left social media for many months as she withdrew from the public spotlight, also lost her radio hosting gig and was cut from a scheduled Pando performance. Kind-hearted Ryan called for an end to the trolling, claiming he would rather move on with his life than well on the past. Kim Marsh and Stephanie Waring There was serious beef between Corey and Holly Oaks when two stars fell out in a big way. Stephanie Waring, who plays Cindy Cunningham, was in a five-year relationship with Dan Hooper, with whom she shares children, Mia Grace, 15, and Lexi Grace, 10. Just weeks after their split, Dan went on to date Michelle Connor actress Kim Marsh, causing a feud that would last for years. In 2014, Steph branded Kim heartless for embarking on a relationship with Dan, and told The Sun on Sunday, I considered her a friend who I've known for years. I had no idea that she would ever do anything like this. He's not just some guy that I went out with for a year. This is a man I spent half a decade with and have a child with. She also tweeted, there is an unwritten rule that if you are friends with somebody you don't go near their ex-partners. And when it emerged Kim and Dan had split, Steph tweeted she was feeling a bit, laughing face emoji. In 2016, Steph told The Mirror she wanted to bury the hatchet, saying, I want to draw a line under everything that has been said in the past two years. This is about closure, forgiveness and me moving forward into next year. My biggest regret is talking about what happened with Kim in the first place. Kim's a mum and I'm a mum. I'm so sorry for putting her and her family through that. I shouldn't have lashed out. The pair then hung out together at the Gem Appeal Winter Ball in Manchester, posting a photo together to prove all was forgotten. They have both since gone on to find happiness with other people and appear to be on good terms now. Coronation Street airs tonight on ITV at 7. 30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Have you got a story to SHR? We want to hear all about it. Email us at your mirror at mirror. Co.uk follow mirror Facebook Twitter comment.